I honestly would like to know why we in Barbados are so ingratiated with China, why are we in so deep with China? So are you swapping one superpower for another? Well, once again, I regret that the person who asked the question doesn't know our history. In 1977, Barbados established relations with the People's Republic of China. And therefore, to suggest that we are now seeking to ingratiate ourselves with China means that you don't understand where we've come from or what we're doing. Um, any country that lives in this world today, to exist in this world, ought to have relations with every country. And China is clearly a global power. And for us not to have a relationship with China, even if we didn't have one 47 years ago, would be foolish. But you've been very complimentary about China. You had a phone conversation with President Xi Jinping mm -hmm. recently. You said this is all about strengthening the relationship with mm -hmm. China. In 2019, mm -hmm. the government signed up to the BRI, the big infrastructure project and so on. And some people are suspicious. They think that China wants to buy the family silver. But let's put it this way. I've also been very complimentary of the Americans and the British and the Canadians. So that for me, not to be complimentary of China seems unusual. And similarly, for persons who believe that because we want to be friendly with China means that we are a pawn, tells us what they think about us in the first place. Because we are capable of being, as one, our first prime minister said, friends of all and satellites of none. But it's not just Barbados that's moving closer no. to China. It's the whole of the Caribbean. I mean, it's, it's the whole investment world. from China has gone up many folds. But so in is the, the whole world. If, if, you, if I look correctly, I think the Chinese hold a large, large percentage of assets within the United States of America and a large amount of their treasuries as well. So for you to focus on the Caribbean or Africa with China without recognizing the role that China is playing in Europe or in the North Atlantic countries is a bit disingenuous and really reflects more that we are seen as pawns, regrettably, rather than countries with equal capacity to determine our destiny and to be part and parcel of that global conversation to fight the global issues of the day like climate and the pandemic. All right. Well, that's put me in my place, hasn't no, it? No, not at all.